Like every day, Daniel used to work at a shoe store. The store was crowded with customers because the school season was few days ahead. A large number of children were coming to buy new shoes for the school. But on that very busy day, a never expected customer came to the store. That customer was just a little kid. He seemed to be in elementary school. Daniel noticed that the kid was doing something strange since he entered the store. He was standing in front of the expensive shoe brands and looking at them with great admiration. Daniel went to ask the kid what kind of shoes he wanted. At that moment, the kid gave him an answer that made Daniel sad. Where can I find the cheapest shoes you have so I can buy a pair of them? Daniel asked the kid again how much money he had for the shoes. But he was surprised because that amount was not even enough to buy the cheapest shoes in the store. What proved to him that the kid is poor was the shoe he wore. The shoe looked bad and seemed to be sewn and repaired more than once. The kid also told him that he had been wearing those shoes for several years and had no other ones. Daniel took pity on that miserable kid and didn't know how to help him. All the kids around him were buying their favorite shoes. He stood alone and sat hoping to find shoes for the little money he had. The kid realized he couldn't buy any shoes, so he was about to leave. But before the kid got out of the store, Daniel called him and stopped him. He decided to help him and draw a smile on his sad face. He approached the little kid and told him to go to the shelf and pick out any shoes he wants in the store. Despite that, the kid refused what Daniel offered. He said, Sir, I don't have enough money to buy the shoes I want. Daniel looked at him in the eye and said, You don't have to pay for the shoe because I will buy them for you. The kid felt so happy that he ran to get his favorite shoes. And indeed, Daniel paid for the expensive shoes out of his own pocket. But he asked the kid to do something to earn the new shoes for free. The request was that the kid must promise him to focus on his education and excel at school, to become a successful young man in the future, and to escape the poverty in which he lives. And indeed, the kid gave him his word that he would do his best to study. The kid eventually returned home happily embracing his new shoes. The kid's smile was unspeakable. I hope this kid has a happy and successful school year, said Daniel. That story proves to us that a little help can change someone's life forever. There's nothing better than making a smile on someone's face whose heart is full with grief.